In September, we're gonna have a big event in Poland. Tomasz Adamek fighting one of the Klitschko brothers, mm -hmm. Vitaly or Vladimir. How do you see Adamek's chances against big guys from uh, Ukraine? I want to apologize ahead of time, but um, I don't. I think the only threat that any of the Klitschkos have at this point right now in the heavyweight division is David Hay. I think he's the only one that poses a threat to either one of them. Uh, I think they're, they're, they're much too big for Tomas Adamek. Uh, if, you know, if you remember, he fought Chad Dawson, who's only six foot three, six foot four, you know, and he, Chad Dawson, you know, did what he wanted with him. And fighting uh, one of the Klitschkos who was six seven, six eight, like the big guys you see in there, and they know how to fight, makes it very difficult. But uh, I, I think the only threat to either one of the Klitschkos at this point would be David Hay. So Adamek's chances are very slim. Very, I, yeah, I hate to say it. I'm sorry, guys, but I, I, I think it's very slim that he beats one of the Klitschkos. Mm -hmm. Some, well, I, I think about two or three years ago, there was some talks about you fighting Adamek. Yeah, we had the fight. I was training for the fight. I was in the gym. We were getting ready. We had a date set, and then um, he signed with a new promoter. They took the, they took the, off the offer off the table. He signed with a new promoter, and then he went and fought the uh, opponent somebody who wasn't supposed to win on the same day he was supposed to fight me. So uh, I had a little bit to do with politics. He knew he was moving up to the heavyweight division. And obviously a fight with me would be a little difficult because, uh, you know, you take a big chance in fighting, fighting me. So he, he took the easier fight and then m m went on and moved up to heavyweight. But, um, yeah, we, I, was in, uh, I was in camp training for that fight, getting ready, and then, you know, I got the call that it wasn't going to happen. Are you surprised uh, with the things Adamex achieved in heavyweight division? Yeah, I am because going from 175 to 225, that's you know 50 pounds, and for him to be able to be able to keep some of that uh, the power at, at the heavyweight division is uh, is uh, you know amazing. He fought a, you know a friend of mine who I trained with, Jason Estrada in Newark, and he boxed really well. And uh, you know Jason takes a really good punch, and Jason put a lot of pressure, and Adamic just you know boxed boxed really well. So yeah, I was surprised. You see what he did to Chris Ariola. I mean, it, I, I'm actually surprised that he's doing what he's doing. But um, you know, the Klitschkos and maybe David Hay are just I think uh, just a little a level ahead of him.